In this overview, we are going to discuss dashboard filters. Dashboard filters are a feature that have been available for some time and have received a significant upgrade in DHIS 232. In previous versions of DHIS 2, you could only filter the dashboard by organization unit, and there were a number of additional constraints when using this filter. This included having to select organization units directly and only being able to apply the filter to saved items which were using the user organization unit type. In DHIS 232, these constraints have been eliminated, as you can now filter dashboards by period, organization unit, or category dimensions. Within these dimensions, you are able to use the same type of selection options you would see in the other analysis apps. For periods, this means the use of either relative or fixed periods. As an example, I can select some fixed periods and apply the filter. You can see that after I make the selection, the filter gets applied to the entirety of the dashboard. This is indicated by an icon at the top of the dashboard, showing that a period filter has been applied. Organization units can also be filtered, just like in previous versions of DHIS2. However, we can now filter using all of the same organization unit selection options that are available in the other analysis applications. We do not need to select one organization unit directly if we do not want to, as we can now select multiple organization units, or use organization unit groups, or organization unit levels in order to make our selection depending on how we want the dashboard to be filtered. For our example, we can select the district level and update our dashboard. You can see how the dashboard now is updated to reflect the change in the organization unit level selection. You can also see a small indication next to our first filter at the top of the dashboard to indicate that a filter is being applied. We can also apply any additional categories or organization unit group sets that we have made available for analysis as filters to our dashboard. Examples of this might be applying filters based on an attribute for a data set or using a location within an organization unit group set. Let's add in a filter for locality and update the dashboard filter. Once again, you can see how the filter alters the data on the dashboard to only include the information that has been applied using the filter. We can now see three indications of filters at the top of the dashboard appearing in the same order that we have applied them. These will always appear in the order they have been selected, so if you select your organization unit filter first, this will appear at the top of the dashboard first within the row of indications. Note that the filters apply to the dashboard that you are currently reviewing. If I were to select another dashboard, you will notice that the filters are no longer being applied. Additionally, if I go back to the dashboard I was working with, the filters are no longer present and the dashboard resets back to its default setting. Keep this in mind when using this feature so you do not lose your place when applying your filters. The updated filter features introduced in DHIS 232 allow you to take control of your dashboards and alter their view in a variety of ways to meet your immediate analysis needs. This should allow the reuse of dashboards across different analyses using various filters on demand. We hope this feature will be useful to you in reviewing your data. If you have any questions or comments on the dashboard filter, please let us know in the community of practice.